The Air Force Small Business Innovation Research, SBIR, program has supported the development of many mission-critical technologies, including this one for the Air Force's Arnold Engineering Development Complex, AEDC. With the ever-present threat of surface-to-air missiles, many U.S. military jets and helicopters are equipped with infrared or ultraviolet sensors that alert pilots to hostile fire. But those sensor systems are not perfect, leaving American warfighters and aircraft still at risk. It's very important for us to be able to test those missile warning systems without shooting missiles at a pilot in an aircraft. Current military aircraft have missile warning sensors on them. When the sensor is triggered, they deploy a variety of countermeasures. To test those warning sensor systems, the military creates simulated missile plumes generated by a pyrophoric fluid that ignites on contact with air. Actuators and valves control the flow of pyrophoric fluid to imitate the behavior of real missile plumes. The military needed a completely new kind of fuel valve and actuator system in order to achieve the level of testing they desired. Previously, AADC was using an off-the-shelf solution for the actuation. It's a device called a solenoid. Although it was a very capable device, it didn't have the force, speed, and duration of operation that they needed. The Air Force contracted active signal technologies through their Small Business Innovation Research Program. AST, AEDC, and NASA's Glenn Research Center collaborated to come up with a solution. Basically, we built a device that fit into their physical box and would plug into their control system and perform the command scenario that they had outlined to us originally. Active Signal's new opposing field actuator, called OFACT, not only produced the needed force, but was able to sustain that for over three minutes compared to the 20-second runtime of the old system. The magnetics in the actuator are designed so that you have fields that are opposing each other. So it allows us to have a, an actuator that is small and compact, but having a great deal of capability of force and control. The pintle moves in and out of the orifice. It controls the flow of the fluid, which then generates the plume. The actuator has sufficient frequency response that it could shut off that flow within about four milliseconds. It's the analogy of if you could hold a garden hose and if you could twist that garden hose from full open to full closed at 50 hertz, then manually you could do what the actuator is doing with this pintle in, in nozzle valve. The active signal actuator that allows us to open up a new battle space that we couldn't address before, very long burning missiles. With the actuator developed, Active Signal turned their attention to the valve. We had to start really by designing a valve that would give the range of flow. We then went about varying the shape of the cone geometry, the angle in particular, how far the cone went back, the shape of the actual nozzle end itself and through a series of experiments doing that, the end result was something that would deliver a spray like this over the wide range of flows that AEDC required. Active Signal credits much of their success to their collaboration with AEDC and other stakeholders. The collaboration with AEDC has been invaluable. The SBIR program creates a larger market for these small businesses to tailor their, their products to or to sell their products to. But at the same time, it helps uh, the government, and in the case locally here, the Air Force, meet its own technology needs. So everybody wins at the end of the day. It's a great program. Active Signal Technologies Fuel Valve and Actuator System is a perfect example of how the Small Business Innovation Research Program helps the Defense Department meet its better buying power goals of controlling costs while getting effective new technologies into the hands of U.S. warfighters.